Witchen, or Witchers, an elite and mysterious caste of warrior monks. In popular lore, they're portrayed as possessing magic powers and superhuman abilities. Witchers were believed to combat evil spirits, ghastly monsters, and all manner of dark forces. It's possible that witches had animal eyes, which granted them sight in near darkness, rendering survival probable in encounters with fiends both subterranean and nocturnal, kobolds, vampires and ghouls. Witches used their silver swords to kill creatures of magic provenance, wraiths, cursed souls and striggers. With their swords of meteorite steel, they felled non-magic beasts, and the occasional human who refused to pay for services rendered. In combat, witches would go into a trance, induced, it's supposed, through self-hypnosis or the consumption of intoxicants. They fought with blind abandon, sensing absolutely no pain, ignoring even serious injuries, which fed fears and superstitions about their unearthly powers. There is little doubt that witches were perceived to be vile beings who could bring misfortune down upon common folk with their gaze alone. The heroes of fairy tales and other yarns, witches entered the folklore of the Nordlings. This is true of one especially, Geralt the Riv, known as the White Wolf. Listen now to one of the legends about him.
Rivia. Population four. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. The streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witcher Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Vengerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. Honor's a curious thing. Honor made Arian fight a mismatched battle against the might of Temeria. Facing defeat, Honor told Arian to bow his neck to save his men. But that same Honor prevented him from saving himself. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. The people believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are murder. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. And they made off with Yennefer. I had to get her back. Return to reality. Return to the Witcher's path. September 13th, 1269, the Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra. The village of Coldwater, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270, a high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270, the Uruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals all between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer. July 25th, 1270. Forests of Angren. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man, can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't either, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, 
Witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother Witchers from the School of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. For the good of the Temerian crown, Vernon Roach is prepared to do anything. If needed, he becomes a murderer and requires others to do the same. Bernard Lorido had only disdain for the world, gave it nothing but suffering. I helped Roach, joined him and his people, and I had to face another choice. Killing the commander of a forgotten trading post is not the same as killing a king. Even if both are murderers and rapists. Winter Solstice 1270. The Night of Magic. Letho wasn't lying, the hunt had stopped. At the Hanged Man's Tree, the spectral riders selected from among those they had taken. Yennefer was among them. A wraith cannot be killed, only driven away. Every Witcher knows that. Yet the riders fell beneath the blows of our Witcher's blades. Crimson blood flowed from under their dead men's armor. We could not kill them all. They were simply too many. A stalemate. He was different from all other elves. There was no shame in his gaze. He had never suffered persecution. He had endured no massacres. Humans had not taken his land. This elf was not of this world. He was an invader. We struck a deal. My soul for that of Yennefer. He agreed without hesitation. Rivia, population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268, a riot erupts. A massacre ensues. The streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd.
During the rioting, 76 non-humans perished, including the witches Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Vengerberg died as trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avaloch, our island. We stopped counting time. And people believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, ever expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island.
The Witcher, the Kingslayers. In Flotsam, he slew Bernard Laredo, but few mourned for the Commandant. Flotsam remained to Marion, while command of the garrison in town went to a Vizima noble, a sworn enemy of Kedwin and an avid angler. To this day, folk gather round bonfires in Lobenden to hear of the Witcher's deeds. The Witcher. Henselt's army crushed Saskia the Dragon Slayer's motley force, ending the springtime of races. Soldiers of the Unicorn swarmed over the Pontar Valley. As it had before, powerful Kedwen swallowed Upper Edern whole. Yet subsequent events would render Henselt's triumph short lived. After full. his neighbors began to vie for the glittering prize that was the realm's throne. Yet the murder. Then Henselt forced them to look to their own problems. Tamaria fell prey to its power-hungry barons. But Vernon Roach held a light of hope for the dying realm, and he tucked it away in a place safe and still to await better times. Years before, Geralt of Rivia had witnessed the He established both bodies their founder sacrificing Sheila de Tanzerville and her accomplices. Yet Radovid also required humility and loyalty from the proud mages, but this did not sit well with all of them. It was a time of great uncertainty, of rape accomplished by royal decree. As the day seemed, we, who had in some way shaped the world's fate, finally received some respite. Zoltan resumed the quest for his beloved's hand, and I laid my head in the laps of the muses. Who could have known this tempest which had ravaged the north was but a harbinger of darker days, and the preamble to an entirely new tale of Geralt of Rivia. <laughs>